Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone's well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're going to throw down some cards for Capricorn for the end of April reading. I'm hoping to get Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces done tonight. It's going to be an extremely long day at my bread and butter job tomorrow. I'm starting at 8 in the morning and not getting out until 7 o'clock tomorrow night at the earliest. So there is no way I'm reading cards tomorrow, guys. Sorry. <laughs> that is a long, exhausting day. Dealing with a lot of people and a lot of energy. And I'm probably going to have to do some serious purging when I get home tomorrow night. Anyway. Thursday, we will be starting fresh with a new cycle, and I'm going to have about seven, six or seven days at that point to get the entire cycle done for the first half of May. Wow, I am a Sagittarius, aren't I? I just push everything to the last damn minute. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and throw down some cards for Capricorn. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. Is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all? Read your journey in online, I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's not supposed to resonate with every Capricorn. It's a general reading. I would be surprised if it did resonate with every Capricorn. I'm just not that cool. I can't pull that kind of energy out of the universe. I am but a vessel. I would spontaneously combust or something. I don't know. Anywho. You can check your moon rising your Venus signs if it doesn't resonate. Maybe those will resonate a little bit better. Or just forget you saw it all together. Throw it out. It wasn't your story. It wasn't your message. It's your free will. I'm not here to twist anybody's arm. I'm not here to tell everybody, anybody how to live. It's not my journey. It's yours. Okay. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. And play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. You guys are welcome here too. Come on in. Have a seat. Got some soda pop. My stepbrother made some goulash for dinner. I'll be getting to dinner as soon as I'm done with these readings. <laughs> and we're having a good time because that's what we're here to do. We're just here to have a good time. Spreading love and light and positive energy. One more stuff for Capricorn. I'm going to get them on the table. a place for everything and everything has its place. Things are slightly out of place right now. We're getting it. Okay. Why are you here, Capricorn? Four of Swords in the reverse. A little bit of restless energy going on. I can see that. Everything going on in the world right now. We're not going to talk about that, though. There's just general restless energy. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Hmm. Five of Cups. You may feel like they have a hard time seeing the bright side of things. They're always concentrating on the negative. Maybe you feel like they're having a hard time finding blessings. Seeing blessings. What do you think of them? Six of Cups in the upright. Okay. Could be a water sign you're dealing with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Possibly an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When you think of this person, you think of the good times. I think you may have a deep, lifelong connection with this person. You have a lot of happy memories with them. Okay, what do you want from them? King of Swords, you want honesty. You want truth. You want logical decisions. You want good, sound communication. How do they feel about you? The world in the reverse. That's a card of incomplete cycles and unfinished business. They fe may feel like they have unfinished business with you. 
they feel like they left something hanging out there. What do they think of you? Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. They think you're balanced, you're level-headed, you're patient. They think you're positive. Right on. That's a serious sunshine and rainbows card. Okay. What do they want from you? Ten of Swords. They want a painful cycle to come to an end. They want the new day to dawn. What's the challenge? Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back. Hmm. I think I know where this is going, Capricorn. What needs to be done? The Fool card. <coughs> Trust. New adventures, new paths. Trust. You know, I have to bring this up because I I, I found this very interesting. In, in the different tarot decks, there's a dog and a fool and a cliff. Three usually pretty pretty standard images. In this particular one, it almost looks like the dog is trying to push the fool off the cliff. Usually you'll see the dog like running around his feet trying to say, no, no, don't jump. This dog is trying to push him off the cliff. Uh, almost as if he's saying, it's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Just jump. That's trust. We're going to get clarity in just a minute. I'm just making an observation. It's projected outcome. The Wheel of Fortune. This cycle completing. Okay. Let's get a little clarity. Let's get a little clarity. Let me clarify what today. The Gilded Tarot. I'm reading with the Tarot of Illuminati, by the way. It's one of my favorite decks. It's very beautiful imagery. I really like it. Universe, Source, and Spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Capricorn to the end of April, please. Wow. I hate it when my hands don't want to work. Arthritis sucks. It really does. It's premature at that. Two. Three. There's really only a couple I need to clarify. So we're going to start with Temperance. I'm not going to clarify in order like I normally would. Why is the Temperance card here? Death card fell out, landed in the reverse. Patience, energy flow, positive energy, positive connection. Clarified by not wanting change. 
fighting change. Capricorn, they think you're fighting change. Why is the world reversed here? This reminds me of one of those puzzles at the doctor's office. You ever put one of those together? Or if you're at a hospital waiting room, they always have a puzzle sitting on the table that's only missing like 50 pieces and there's 500 pieces laying there. You have to figure out which ones fit. You know what I'm talking about? That's what this is kind of reminding me of. Why is the world reversed here? Five of Swords. Picking up pieces. Something I left hanging out there. Something changed in how you communicate. And when someone's left to pick up pieces, that means somebody lost a battle. This may have been a harsh exchange of words. When you think of them, you think of happy memories. When they think of you, they think of someone not wanting to change. Restless energy. Someone always concentrating on the bad. feel like things got left unsaid, picking up pieces, painful cycle to end. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Thank you. Two of Pentacles juggling emotions, holding back emotions. I gotta throw one more on that. Because that man holding those pentacles is trying to make a decision. Which pentacle do I hand him? Do I hand him an apology? Or do I hand him the enchilada? It's like all or nothing. Somebody's holding back emotions. Page of pentacles reversed. The challenge here is someone is owed an apology. And someone has not received one yet. Someone wants the truth. Someone wants a painful cycle to end. Why is the full card here? The moon reversed. Things need to be illuminated. Secrets need to come out. Somebody needs to tell the truth. Somebody needs to put this to an end. Somebody needs to make a decision. Do I apologize or not? Capricorn. I'm not judging. I'm not. Not at all. You could well be the one doing apology. Four of Swords reversed, Justice reversed. These popped out without intention. The only ones with the power to put this back in balance and tuck whatever was left hanging out back in is you two. 
whoever this is resonating with. Whatever Capricorn out there has an issue with someone, or if I'm talking to the Cross Watcher who has an issue with the Capricorn, really? It's my boss. Do I take the call? <laughs> I don't think I should. I'll call her back in a couple of minutes. Somebody's got to level the playing field because this energy is only going to stay restless. You know, I'm going to get your advice. I'll read these in a second. I got to take it off of this one first. I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Eight of Cups in the upright, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse represents, well, the Ace of Pentacles in the upright represents a slow growing seed. Okay, fair enough, slow growing seed. In the reverse is a seed that never got a chance to grow. But given enough time, it may again. Eight of Cups. I'm going to pull a couple more off of that. The Eight of Cups is a card of walking away. Five of Wands and the Prince of Cups. <clears throat> This may be confrontational. I don't think you guys have talked for a while. Sometimes the greatest cup you can give someone is the opportunity to hash things out. Even if it gets ugly. Even if you've already exchanged harsh words. But if you walk away altogether, you never know if that seed's going to grow. You have to make a decision. Eight of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse. It may never come back around if you say nothing. I'm going to leave it with that, Capricorn. We're done for the night. We're done for the month of April. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been wonderful. I get to call my boss. Again, wholehearted thank you for all the support Capricorn has given us over the last year or so. I will catch you guys later, okay? Love you to bits. Peace be with you.